Today, I'm going to show you how to download and use the Raptor CAN Analysis Tool from New Eagle. We built this tool to make our lives easier when troubleshooting CAN network development, and now we're offering it to our customers. First, I want to show you how to download the Raptor CAN tool from software.neweagle.net. When I get to software.neweagle.net, I want to log in. As you can see, I'm already logged in, and I will go to the OWL portion of the dropdown under project. And then I can go to downloads. And here is where I can find all of the revisions of OWL that I can download. On my test bench here, I have a VCAN 320 CAN display, which is sending some messages out onto my CAN bus. I'm using a Cabasser LeafLight CAN and PC cable to connect my computer to the CAN bus. I also have a simulator of a Raptor VCAN 800 that I've developed for this video which as you can see is connected to the CAN bus and acting on some of the signals. I want to open the Cabasser CAN King tool as well so that I can monitor some of the raw signals on the bus. I'm going to open the Raptor CAN analysis tool next. You'll see that Raptor CAN has tabs for monitor, simulate, analyze logs, replay logs, and CAN config, which is just used to make sure Raptor CAN is looking on the right bus. I'm going to start by clicking on the Monitor tab and then the Add DBC button. This is going to let me add the DBC to Raptor CAN. And now I can see the messages in the DBC file. You can see there's four messages. And if I expand one message, this message is called Gauges. You can see some of the signals being read in engineering units. Next, I want to add some signals out onto the CAN bus using the Simulate tab. Again, I'm going to add a DVC, which is the same DVC. We can see the four messages, and I want you to look closely at the Can King output window. When I add the supervisor message, you see an extra message appearing out onto the CAN bus. So this is going to let me actually send messages out onto the bus and you can see it's affecting my display. Next, I'm going to use the Analyze Logs tab to convert a CAN King log, which is in hex, into engineering units. So first, I want to add my DVC file again. And I'm going to select a few signals that I'd like to convert, as well as the CAN King log. And I want to convert that to a CSV. And when I open the CSV, I can actually see engineering units here. And this is really great for post-processing. The replay log feature will allow me to send a CAN King log back onto the bus in order to simulate an event that has already occurred. To do this, I select my log and I can hit play. Before I do that, notice that the display has stopped moving as I've unplugged my controller that's sending CAN messages. When I hit play, it's going to resume. As you can see, it's replaying an event that I've logged from earlier. That's it for this demonstration of the Raptor CAN Analysis Tool. Please contact support at neweagle.net for any questions.